Hello, this is not a spring chicken, the big news, of course. What? Is the big rock 340 tons? Finally made it to LACMA. Yes, it's been, let's just say, causing chaos for the last week as it's been creeping along all throughout the city of Los Angeles where Time Warner has been having to, oh yeah, an electric company have been having to move wires so this 340 ton rock can move throughout the city. Golly. You know, part of that is publicity, I think. But it's resting now at LACMA. But meanwhile, there's other things that continue, such as the Natural Products Expo West, where we're discovering new products for you to try that are in the natural, organic, and green arena. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Obama's blaming Bush for the high prices of gas. I know, i got to cover Rex. Everybody knows by now Rex worships the ground the president. Rex actually could work over at the Fox News Company, and he would trample people to go meet the president. But one of Obama's ex-economic advisors this morning was the op he did he delivered the Republicans' response to the president's thing as an independent advisor on economics. He said that that George Bush is not the president. George Bush was not the president when the gas prices started going up. The Republicans did not control the Congress. Republicans did not control the Senate. He said. The gases went from 185 a gallon to two four I mean to four thirty-five a gallon in this country under your watch because you will do nothing to stop it because it doesn't suit your best interest. And then he said you're also sending people out this week to tell people under the Obama administration we can easily afford four dollars a gallon. No, well, you can't. He said it was the gas prices that triggered the economic disaster, and he's doing it all over again, and the Democrats are terrified of saying no to him. Oh, they also have this one. They give Obama a massive, they said, they know that nobody's up in the White House is knowing what they're doing today because all Obama, ha Obama's whole thing is to throw people under the wheels of the bus. Mm -hmm. All Obama had to do was to let the Republicans thing on the Keystone pass and then he could blame it on Congress for not getting done. Instead, he put the strong arm on people in the member of the Senate to vote against it. And when he did that, he took totally responsibility. He said, that's not a well-oiled political machine to make a mistake that bad. Because you have to, you, know, you, you can't override Obama's veto. And Obama said he would veto if it was passed, so he made certain it wasn't passed, so he gets the blame. And Obama's re-election death star is fully operational. Oh yeah, I mean, we're talking, I know this is a bad day for Rex. The entire media is just, uh, you know, is jumping on the Obama bandwagon. Maybe the Fox News is jumping on it too. I mean, Bill O'Reilly, he's a formidable candidate. He is too intelligent. He's got to get rid of the people around him. You know, uh, over on they fired everybody over on Fox Business that was anti-Obama. They they took an entire broadcast schedule off at night because they were too anti-President Obama. Now Fox News is okay. Um, Rush Limbaugh is now the bad cop that Glenn Beck used to be, and uh, so and Bill O'Reilly's good cop and all the and Ron William Ron, Ron, and all these people over on Fox they're the good cops and. Well, the President of the United States, he's working really hard to do all of these things. He's too intelligent a man to let this thing continue to go on. The guy, I mean, look, here's the trick, folks. If the President of the United States were to come on Fox News and bend over and says, my butt needs to be scratched, people would die in the stampede to go scratch his butt. And I'm guessing Bill O'Reilly, even in his early 60s, could probably still hurdle enough people to be the one to scratch it and Coke and Pepsi to drop level of cancer chemical. Well, like I said, it's a bad day called health care. they got carcinogens. It's been, you know that caramel stuff they use to coat it? It's been giving people cancer since the very beginning. Um, uh, even Obama's FDA said you would have to drink a thousand cans or bottles a day to get cancer. Ooh, it's impossible, but under Obama's health care, he was going to label it as a carcinogen and stop to sell the soda pop. Oh, really? Oh, isn't that great? Well, did, did they just redo the recipes? I thought they had to, a recipe that existed since the turn of the 20th century has now been changed because of the Affordable Care Act. 
because Obama intends to put sodas, soda companies out of business. He intends to put fast foods out of business. All of these things. I mean, uh, we just came back from the uh, was a Natural Food Expo, mm -hmm. and we, basically we got the same thing. We went to the Wind Expo. They're counting on Obama's legislation to force people into buying their products. Mm -hmm. Because if you can't get anything in a grocery store but uh, natural food or organic or green, you're going to have to buy it. I hate to tell people this. The same people that said, well, screw you on taking our french fries away and our pizza are going to say, we aren't going to buy that stuff because it tastes like cardboard. And it's expensive. We can't afford what we're paying now. So, and Wall Street's bonuses fell 25 percent. A watchdog says. Yeah, uh, you know why? Because they aren't making the money that Obama says they're making. If they were making the money that Obama says that they're making, their bonuses would, would be there because they'd be bringing it in. But if all you're doing is transferring money from one Obama business to another Obama business and they're Obama people, they're on the government dole. They're not getting bonuses for transferring government money back and forth. And the labor market shows more signs of life. I told you this is a really bad day. I know. Okay, folks. I know, I know Rex isn't going to be happy having his ears covered. Unemployment did not go down with the creation of 227,000 jobs. They created more jobs than is necessary for unemployment to go down. It didn't go down. Why? Because they re-advised the unemployment rate up for two straight weeks. And then last week, there were more people that lost their jobs than were expected. Therefore, the rate of unemployment didn't go down. So, but you wait though. Um, you're going to have, a, you're going to come in with a 50,000 jobs added, and the unemployment rate is going to drop one whole percent. Ooh, and suspicion rises between Western advisors and Afghans. Uh, okay, um, I, okay. My my nephews have a. Their father was basically grew up in Libya, and he he's well known for walking up to a, in Europe, walking up to a, a Muslim that was hijacking a plane, and telling everybody on the plane that as long as we don't turn our backs on and we have nothing to be afraid, and then he flattens the guy and takes the box cutter from him. Mm -hmm. the, and that's the whole trick. Don't turn your backs on any of those people in Afghanistan because they'll slice your throat. And Denver authorities and dead inmate killed up to 20. I know, up to 20. They don't, okay. Here's what happens is, okay, my father was a police officer in the Los Angeles Police Department Reserve from the 1930s into the 1960s. My father said every time a convict was executed, they laid all of the unsolved crimes on that convict mm -hmm. because it couldn't be disproved. Mm. And job creation heralds stronger recovery. Okay. The stock market doesn't show it. The stock market fell last week again. It's basically the second straight week of falling because, okay, uh, here's one. Inventories are down. Orders of inventories are down. Big ticket purchases are down. Uh, inflation is up. Therefore, it is no signs of any economic recovery. And government to seek court approval of $25 billion mortgage pact. Uh, which Obama has realized was a big, big mistake because, I mean, it's a bad day for Rex. Because the Democrats are now getting the flack over all of it, saying, well, Maybe we should basically rejigger everything and have a bailout for all of the people in the country because it's not fair that only the supporters of Barack Obama get the reduction, that because the people that don't support Obama still vote for Democrats in local elections. So they're looking at, um, instead of a $25 billion bailout, a $2.5 trillion bailout for the entire housing industry. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit of 25 billion to two and a half trillion. But don't worry, the banks and the banks and Freddie Mae and Fannie Mac will pay for it through new fees upon the wealthy in this country to do business. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. And Greece averts immediate default and market skeptical. Yeah, because it says immediate. That the word is, it means it's not going to fall in, uh, in this month, but it will default probably next month. And import surge sends China trade to de decade deep deficit. Yeah, because what's happening is China does not have all the raw materials and everything they need to work with, so they have to import them. A growing, a growing 
uh, base of people has to have things that China cannot manufacture on its own. They, you know, if, if you bring them the material, they can basically copy anything, but they are not naturally a material rich cut world. They don't have oil, they don't have uh, a lot of precious minerals, so they got to bring all of that stuff in. They have coal, and they are polluting like you would not believe with their coal for energy. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain in the animal kingdom. Uh, okay, as, as Rex will tell you, you're, you, you have to know when to give up.